first day of spring training, you know, every, every team in, in Major League Baseball thinks they're the best team in Major League Baseball. So, I mean, the, the thing about it, the key thing is, you know, staying healthy, staying on the field, and, and everybody doing their job. And I think if, uh, you know, we do that, then we have a good chance of being a very successful team. I'm Matt Waymeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. Excitement and expectation levels are perhaps never higher for any team than they are during spring training as all 30 major league clubs begin their 2015 baseball journeys in Florida and Arizona. Veterans, newcomers, and everyone in between are once again settling into the rhythms of the game while a handful of players are adjusting to new surroundings and new teammates. Yeah, this is a big day, guy. I mean, it's, I mean you're... You're like a family, and uh, you know you enjoy your time off. But I can assure you, these guys were excited about seeing each other and getting back on the field. I can't believe I'm 55 years old. I'm going to like my 35th spring training, and I'm putting my stuff in the car, and I got butterflies. And I guess when that goes away, maybe I should go away. But I think it's awesome every year. I'm excited about it, man. I, I've uh, seems seems like a snail pace it's been to, to get to this moment. So uh, I'm glad to finally turn this into a pure baseball field and get out on the field and uh, have fun. Well, camp is always one of those uh, exciting things where you get down there. You know, you're also still nervous no matter what just to see what your offseason entails. But when you do finally get out here in the clubhouse, you can see everybody able to joke and, and, and relax and focus with those guys. It's always a cool thing. You know, it's just good to be back out there together as a group. You know, most of us have already been here early, but uh, it was good for first day being out there as a group and doing team fundamentals and everything. It's a different league, uh, so I don't I don't know a bunch of the guys over here. You know, in the, in the National League, I've got to know a lot of the guys. So when I move to another team, you know, typically I know a handful of them. So it's be a little different um, you know, coming over here, but so far so good. I think guys are excited. I mean, obviously there's a buzz to our camp. I mean, you guys have ri uh, risen the expectations so high for us, you know. Uh, we have to be excited. So, But it's good to see guys in early and, and getting ready and uh, ready to compete. The Tigers have re-signed veteran believer Jabba Chamberlain to a one-year contract. Several other teams were reportedly interested in the eight-year veteran, but Chamberlain explained why he chose to return to the Motor City. You know, it was just my teammates and my coaches, and, you know, just the city embraced me, and I, I loved playing there every day, and I left it all on the field, and, you know, for me, it was, it was part of two, is, you know, I feel like I didn't finish the, the season the way I wanted to, and, I, you know, we have unfinished business as a team, and, and I personally do. It's just a tremendous opportunity. Tuesday's workout for Adam Wainwright did not go smoothly, as the Cardinals' ace experienced abdominal pain and will undergo examinations. Cards general manager John Mozalock said he was not overly concerned with the setback, but did add that the team is taking a cautious approach nonetheless. When you when you look at where he is in terms of how we wanted him to, to approach the spring, timing isn't all that bad. But um, when you when you ask me about like sort of level of concern or how we feel about it, anytime you have to send somebody to go up to uh, St. Louis, it's not great news. For more on these stories and the very latest sights and sounds from Spring Training 2015, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.